Hi, wherever you are all over the world, welcome to another episode of Wisdom for Living. My name is Femi Drujai. Today, I want to talk about Christians, young Christians. You know, I have advice for young Christians how to navigate the Christian faith. You will find out that, especially in Africa, that not just in uh, in Africa, in a lot of places, right? Young Christians do not know their left from their right. They just go to church, they listen to their pastors, they come home and then wing it in life. You know, it ought not to be so. Now, let us let us start with the Catholics. The Catholics have what is called Catechism. Catechism is essentially learning about the Word of God, learning about the doctrines of the church before you even start worshiping with the congregation. I think Pentecostal Christians, especially, should follow the example of the Catholics. Now, in a lot of Pentecostal churches, they have weekly programs. It might be Bible study. It might be the word. So another one they call faith clinic. You understand, which is a time a time set out, you know, by the church during the week to pray. I want to advise young Pentecostal uh, Christians: stop going to church on Sunday. Stop. Going to church on Sunday does nothing for your Christian faith. Instead. Choose to go to the weekly services, the Bible study service, and the prayer service. Let me tell you something. The foundation of every prayer is the word of God. Let me rephrase that. The foundation of every effective prayer is the word of God. You are not a Christian if you do not know what the word of God says. Be like the Catholic Learn about the Christian faith from Bible study. Now, okay, now going to church on Sunday, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, no, it's okay, but these Sunday services are usually not interactive. You do not get to ask questions about the faith there. You understand? But the Bible study allows you to interact with the teacher. You understand? It allows you to, interpret, to interact with the teacher. That's where you ask questions. That's where you get to know and understand your faith in Christ. Now, I want to talk about what you get from the scripture show me a man of god that is powerful i will show you a man of god that is dwelling and reading the scripture paul told us apostle paul told christians study to show yourself approved a christian that need not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth we are commanded as christians to study not to go to Sunday service and be dancing and be playing and be doing stuff, but to study. Studying the scripture is the integral path of the Christian faith. Don't go to church and clap and sing and just uh, get involved with congregational prayers. You are cheating yourself. You will never have navigation of your Christian faith. Some, some pastors come and tell you anything. You just say, my pastor said, my pastor said. You don't know what the word of God says. For you to be a standing Christian that will grow, that is rooted in the word of God, you must know the word of God. It is the word of God only that can keep a Christian know. It is written in the Bible. So I advise young Pentecostal Christians, follow the examples of the Catholics. Go to your Bible study classes. Make it as your own Sunday service. Forget Sunday service. Go to the Bible study. Learn about the Christian faith. 
go to um, 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 the prayer session during the week, you know, the, some people call it faith clinic, you understand? Go and learn how to pray. Go and learn how to pray. Go and learn how to pray, how to engage your God one-on-one. -on -one. The problem that King Saul had was that he does not have direct relationship with God. That was his problem. He did not have direct relationship with God. He always relied on the man of God. You know? So don't be like King Saul. Have a relationship with God. Know God by his words. Be involved in the prayer services. Know how to engage your God. Know how to, know how to um, what's it called? Um, approach the throne of grace. In this life, eh, it's you and God who is you and God. Because when you get into some situations, you, you cannot even call your pastors. It's you and God. Learn about the Christian faith. Don't just go and waste your time and be dancing in church. In summary, in summary, deliberately choose to attend some, uh, the, the Bible study during the week. Deliberately choose to attend the prayer meetings during the week. This is how you get to know about God and be rooted and be established in the Christian faith. God bless you.